Hey everyone, I'm Jonathan McCune. I'm the Director of AV and Infrastructure Product Management at Black Box. And I'm really excited to introduce to you MCX Network AV. This is a product line that's powered by SDVOE technology, otherwise known as Software Defined Video Over Ethernet. So the MCX product line consists of a couple different subcategories. There's the S9 and the S7 categories. And what it is, is it's, it's MCX Network AV is video and audio over IP that's designed for modern network infrastructures. For about a decade, we've been promised this idea of AV and IT convergence. And what we really have is parallel AV and IT. We, they're not really converged. It's just video over IP solutions are using the same technology as your network, AV, as your, as your network IT solutions. Uh, but they're not converged. They live side by side. And with that, come all the costs and the headaches with managing two AV, two networks, one for AV, one for data. Um, and the problem is over a one gig solution, we can't accomplish all that. We really need that 10 gig solution to be able to do that. So what we have here is um, a product that delivers up to 4K60, 444, and up to 10 bit HDR uncompressed using SDVOE. And we deploy that over 10 gig networks of either ethernet, fiber, or both. Uh, we have uh, ability to do redundant networks within the same encoder and decoders. Uh, with our S9 platform, we can, we can add scaling functionality. So you can do video walls, picture in picture, multi-view, uh, and a whole lot more. The S7s uh, don't have the scaling av available in the product. So the S7 is great for point to point and point to multi-point. Uh, additionally, the S9 has USB, whereas the, uh, the S7 does not. And the S9 has two ports of, uh, of video encoding, well, one being DisplayPort 1.2, the other one being HDMI 2.0. Later this year, the S9 will have an additional uh, product in the category called the S9D encoder. Uh, and that allows you to encode two channels of Dante audio uh, that can be then inserted into a Dante audio network uh, for you know, large network audio deployments. And what I think is actually most, most compelling and most important to this product line is really what addresses the biggest pain points in the market outside of the network considerations, and that's latency. Uh, so using SDVOE, uh, we actually now have zero latency from source to display. So encode to decode or glass to glass, whatever you want to call it. We measure that at 0 0.03 milliseconds. Uh, this opens up whole new categories of opportunities uh, with, the vid with video over IP, whether it's mission critical activities or live events, esports, and a whole range of others. Uh, 0 0.03 milliseconds is imperceptible to the human eye. Also is our switching time. So uh, this is what I call near seamless switching. We can't truly call it seamless switching, but it is less than 100 milliseconds with zero artifacts. And you're gonna see just in a minute here with a demo, just how fast that actually is. And then the last thing here is uh, intuitive control. So we have a really robust control platform for MCX. Uh, it starts with the intuitive web UI for our controller, and it goes all the way down through uh, discrete RS-232, IR, secondary audio channels, plus a separate one gigabit ethernet connection uh, to independently route, embed, and de-embed up to three separate audio streams. So MCX uh, goes just a lot further than just uh, video matrixing. It's really a full video distribution solution in a network AV platform. Uh, it does switch matrixing seamlessly. I mentioned, we mentioned video walls. We can create video walls of up to 256 screens. Uh, the S9 is capable of multi-view. Uh, so you can go uh, you know, inside the bezel and, and not, no longer be uh, limited to, uh, to like a split screen uh, like some of our competitors, but you can do a true multi-view of up to 32 panes or panels within a single screen. Um, and then we can control all that and, and mix all that into a wide ranging use cases, whether it be for education uh, or healthcare uh, or digital science applications. Uh, MCX really can mix it all into one platform and cover all your bases, whether it be single point endpoints of uh, up to 4K60 uh, with zero frame latency, uh, you know, configurable multi-viewed uh, screens mixed in there, uh, video walls mixed in with and without bezel compensation, and then also ev even layering things like, uh, like KVM access and with uh, real USB 2.0 uh, uh, control, uh, and you can also extend things like uh, uh, USB cameras or flash drives and things of that nature as well with the USB. So just a quick look at the use cases. We have just your standard video extension op options. 
The S7s uh, are great for doing point to multi-point where you don't need the scaling. Uh, so uh, more digital signage type applications. Uh, we can do full uh, HDMI 2.0 distribution and using S9, we can do HDMI 2.0 and, um, and DisplayPort 1.2 distribution. Uh, full, full video switch matrixing. We can also do KVM matrix, uh, matrix switching. Uh, we can even create these redundant systems that I mentioned earlier using both the fiber and the copper capabilities of the S9 product line. So there's, uh, and these are wide ranging use cases. So uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to jump in and do a demo uh, of, uh, of an eSports demo that will show you the, the latency and then we're gonna follow that up with a switch time uh, latency demo so you can see that in real time. So if you take a look at the screen on the right, uh, Keith has a, uh, a, a racing game up. This racing game, you're gonna see that you have zero latency between what's on the screen on the right is a uh, is the direct to PC source. We also have the, the video wall, and Keith's actually playing this game from the video wall. Uh, his, please don't mistake his, his lack of gaming uh, skills for uh, the product itself. And then in the middle here, you actually see uh, just a single point screen as well. But if you take a look at all three, it, there's zero latency. So this actually can be played in, in a, uh, used in live, live events and really this growing esports market, uh, this is, a, this is a, a great opportunity for. So uh, we're gonna, we'll stop this disaster of gaming here um, that Keith's doing and we'll, we'll go into uh, switch times. So what you're seeing here is just the, the, the Blue River controller. It's a demo controller that you can use to see uh, the, uh, the switch times and configurations. What he's doing here is he's switching sources that we have available from MCX, MCX encoders, and he's uh, switching them into the video wall. So if you listen for these secondary clicks here, that's when he's switching, and you're gonna see that it's near instantaneous. And then you can do the same for the single point screen as well. So again, I want to thank everyone for, uh, for your time. And again, I'm Jonathan McCune from Black Box. You can visit us at www.blackbox.com MCX for more product information. Uh, and you can also use that website to reach out for questions about the product. Thanks.